in a hurry. But I, I use a nail print because it's very soft. Sure. Yeah, it's very comfortable. I've been wearing it a little bit. <laughs> okay. So you stick this up, upwards. Oh, I thought it was downwards. No. If you read the facts. Yeah, it was hard to read. Okay. Just because it came through a little foggy. But I thought, I noticed it said vertical. And I thought it was down. See what I mean? So, on the last breathing, first you will do your... But we'll have to go through that tomorrow or something. Okay. To your alternate breathing, which is very, very, very fascinating, I assure you here. It's a much more complete way of breathing. If your nostrils very widely open, it's not elegant, but it's very efficient. And you, 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 you think of a, of a jet of air going up to your brain and coming down. It's a very inner type thing of breathing. Sitting there, is it? Uh-huh. There should be no contraction whatsoever. Uh-huh. The whole thing should be completely, completely relaxed. Uh-huh. See there? Uh-huh. I'm already clearing my ears. This is a form, a form of hyperventilation, yogic hyperventilation, very, very effective. <laughs> Breathing is through the nose, not through the mouth. We are forced to breathe through the mouth because of our snorkels. <laughs> yes. right. So I always try to get the last gulp through the mouth, but uh-huh. all the, the uh, preparatory breathing through the mouth. Really? But for now, you stick to your own way of breathing. Okay. okay. I'm not going to impress you to go down to 100 feet or no, something. No. Just going to play and show you the, the technique of being near the the. Um, the rope, having the security of the rope, you see it very well in the okay. rope. It's a, it's a psychological thing. Right. Head and all the way down to your sacrum here. Then you and you feel it, and you feel the ideal position for your spinal dorsal, dorsal spine, and that's when you are in equilibrium. Like this. I should go sit over on the door.